And welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. I've got Seth Letterman on the show today, and he is the franchise matchmaker. Uh, he is an author. He has been created great success for his clients, bringing the exact right match of the franchise that will uh, that they'll succeed the most easily in. So, Seth, I want to get into what are some of the barriers that people have in getting into uh, or associated with franchises? So, uh, you know, there are, again, a lot of misperceptions or false assumptions about franchising. Uh, and again, the process that I take my candidates through and investors through in making that decision really gets them clear on what skill sets and strengths that they currently can take mm -hmm. uh, and bring into business ownership. Uh, where are their industry preferences? Uh, what's very important is the due diligence process. There are several steps you would want to go through to determine whether or not this business is going to meet your professional, personal, and financial goals and objectives. And people don't know how to approach that uh, and wind up making decisions emotionally rather than logic and data and then make their decision with logic and data. They could be emotional about their decision, but make the decision with logic and data. So I take them through this very streamlined step-by-step -step approach in determining what they would need to know at every step of the process that a franchise will take them through in determining whether or not they're a good fit for the franchise because it is, it's a mutual evaluation process. So we are taking all the, a lot of the barriers out of their way is what I'm seeing, just consistently going through. And that, that's one of the things that people say about you is that you're really good at eliminating those blocks. But I'm curious, would young people be uh, good candidates for franchises? I mean, I think about college, you know, these kids going to college, they get out of college, you spent a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars to go to college, wouldn't it be better to find their what they love already and, and, and lead them in that direction? Or what's your thoughts on that? I think that there are probably a subset of that age range and population that that could work for. I think uh, work ethic, uh, life experience, wisdom comes from experience and probably would need to have experienced life uh, because most people are driven more by pain right. than pleasure. Um, and I would rather see people come from inspiration than desperation. Oh, absolutely. And I think there is possibilities for millennials in franchising, absolutely. Um, I think a lot of the aging baby boomers, children, they want to put into business because they recognize the cost for college is astronomical. They could put them in business for that. And for the right person, that could be the greatest gift they could ever do for their child. 